Yo guys, I've got a spark which I'm going to use to ignite the fire for a brand new episode of the Skarners Spyro's Adventure Soul Seeker series here on the channel. Today we're going to be heading out for Dragon's Peak where we both need to do a speedrun as well as gather that final treasure chest that I missed the first time I was here. But luckily for me, I know exactly where it is. Apparently this area is called Skylands. We're in the sky of Skylands, and that's where lands can be found that are in the sky, hence the Skylands, apparently. That's just how all this works. Regardless, I'm now going to be defeating some fools right here. Oh, and also getting hit by some fool, but you know. Now that we defeated all the enemies at hand, the bounce pad has showed itself so we can bounce up here with Chop Chop and defeat more enemies to rescue that dragon fella right now. Man, that was one massive robot dude, but we took him out with these. Got a cutscene that we can skip over, got some crates to destroy. But yes, case in point, we can absolutely breeze through this level with ease for speedrun objective now that I know how to both speedrun this level successfully, as well as gather for one treasure chest that I missed for the first time around. Okay, so we're going to continue flying atop Flavius right now, because this time, unlike with the second episode, I am actually familiar with what his name is. Yes, we have uh, for very first and second episode that I of course tackled this Dragon's Peak Adventure Pack level with. I didn't know this guy's name, but you know, you can't say I'm making the same mistake twice, which is absolute glory in and of itself, because there's nothing more glorious than learning from your mistakes. His air is activated, so let's take Chop Chop off the portal and bring in Lightning Rod without further ado. We didn't play him the last time he was going in through this level because we didn't have him un unlocked just yet. Thunder! Okay, luckily we took down the bomb guy before he hit us because those guys are the main things that deal with the main bulk of damage from this level. Sunbird would never have died if not for them. Because they just commit kamikaze and blow up the moment they get near you, which means you need to either find a way to defeat them from afar, which with Sunbird is difficult apparently despite his flamethrower intending to be a projectile attack but it's garbage at actually having this thing called range yeah enough of my sunburn rants though yeah say so sunburn would definitely be alive now if not for how much damage those guys deal once they get close to you that's very difficult to keep your distance too given like how quickly they uh, proceed to get towards you we're looking at lightning rod has his stunning abilities to slow them down a little bit anyway we don't need um, to go up there because that's not where our next objective is going to be for speedrunning through this level, I mean. Okay, there goes that guy down and out. So let's approach this here, well, thingy McBob as we press the skip button. Okay, we now have more flight sections to go, which now that I think about it, there's a reason why this is my second favourite of the Vinch Pack levels, because Flavius is a lot more fun than freaking pirate cards and spending 20 minutes to defeat a sodden wall. Yep, this is a ton more fun, alright, even if Flavius does get pretty annoying after a while, but, you know, my game is on mute, so for game audio doesn't echo in my mic right now, therefore, I don't even need to listen to Flavius being annoying, so... In this way, this uh, mini game actually being muted is actually making it a whole lot more fun. It doesn't stop how slow paced it can be, however. Either way, these things are flaming up, so we've got to watch out not to get hit by them. There we go, they finally finished themselves up as the earth element has been activated, so let's bring out Prison Break without further ado. Yeah, he's definitely been our star of the earth element as of late. In fact, him and Sun, uh, Sonic Boom probably have the largest screen time of any Skarner. <laughs> yeah, as well as uh, Boomer, Zap. Just basically most of the Skarners that we unlocked early in the series are going to be the ones that have the utmost screen time throughout the remainder of it. And that's just kind of like how screen time works. You know, it's dedicated to those characters that we seek the souls of earlier than souls of the others that we seek out, mind you. Okay, come on. Boom. Boom. There you go, we actually made it that time. Boom. Oh! That was magical. Anyway, that treasure chest we missed, when I said I knew exactly where it was, this is where I meant. So yeah, let's be grabbing all of this. Thank you very much. Just so much gold. So sweet. Anyway, these guys, we can defeat them down here. Oh, he's on the bounce pad now. No, not the bounce pad. Anything with the bounce pad. you got to get off that thing, bro. you got to get off it, man. Yeah, I'm having a really hard time defeating this guy, apparently. Oh, 
Why is this guy invincible? I kind of like need him to die in order for us to actually like get past this part. Dude, can you not be invincible? Please, my goodness gracious me. Well, looks like I need to activate a backup plan and get over to the other uh, station over here in order to actually advance. But luckily this time I got the treasure chest, so I just need to make sure that I continue to speedrun this level successfully. But that's easy said and done because these bounce pads here are so jank. Janky! For Pete's sake, invisible wall, why? And now I'm back, oh! Now I'm back here again, which has really screwed me over. I'm frustrated because this is so janky. I have an invincible enemy that I can't get past. Luckily for me, I'm not softlocked because there is a second route from which we can take to get out of this area, but that's really hard to access given how janky the invisible walls and the bounce pads can be. But the main objective here was to complete the speedrun as well as gather that final treasure chest. We got the treasure chest, and now all we've got to do is hope that the speedrun is successful. Okay, there we go. That's all sorted. Can't remember if there's enemies here that we need to defeat. Uh, yes, yes, there is, to answer my own question. So let's take down them guys. And this is going to open back up, and we can get out of here. This is just giving me flashbacks to seeking out Sunburn's soul for the first time, and how depressing it was that we lost him the last time we was in this level. Boy, I am depressed! Yes, I just said that out loud, deal with it. This is my out loud voice. This is how my out loud voice works, all the same. So yes, yeah, so all these gems, we just, we don't mind if we do, my friends. We don't mind if we do. Now we're here, fire is stronger, so let us be swapping out for Ignitor, why not? This guy's awesome and I love playing as him. I mean, of course I do, he's my favorite Skyrim. I love playing by him, uh, playing as him even by default. So let's destroy that guy. Get these crates out of here for looking at me funny mostly. Oh boy, I gotta be careful, otherwise I'm gonna lose Igniter to these freaking flamethrowers of all things. Which is awfully ironic considering that Igniter, Fire Spirit, and yet Fire is here dealing massive damage to him. Okay, cheese, don't mind if we do. Destroy that guy. Destroy this guy, of course. Okay, bounce pad, come to me. Thank you. Oh. Platforms all the way over here, apparently. Where did the bounce pad go? Okay, we're just gonna have to wait for it to loop all the way back around. Had I known where that platform was, I would have, you know, tilted them in the direction of it. Okay, we barely made it up here by some miracle. And here's the next platform. We just barely missed it. Shit! <gasps> oh my god! That did not just happen. That did not just happen. As if losing one fire scar of a dragon's peak wasn't enough. Now I've gone and lost another one. And the worst thing is, the only objective I needed to clear here was no lives lost. Which means I failed that. So I have to press this Y button right now and restart the chapter. I have never been more pissed off with a level in my life. You know, perhaps it should have. First of all, been assigned for me to take Igniter for Porter because he's dead, he's been defeated. So, naturally, let's swap out instead back to Lightning Rod because I know the air elements popping up. I slam him down with such frustration. You heard it. It was a solid slam right there. Because, boy, perhaps the bad luck with the enemy becoming invincible should have been a sign that this level was going to fuck me royally in the ass. I hope you guys are enjoying this rant. Boy, I'm mad. I'm so mad. First of all, I miss a platform by pixels, and then Igniter, no time to escape the flamethrowers from every single angle. Man! This is just, this is in a league all of its own, making me, not even making me, it's effectively forced me to restart the level from scratch in order to complete that no life lost objective. Wow, this level hates me. What did I do to deserve this, might I ask? <laughs> oh, mate. And now I don't have my favorite scar available for the Soul Seeker series anymore. All because of this raw bullshit. I never would have got mad if Eruptor died. I wouldn't have gave him two fucks. But because it's Igniter, yeah, two fucks almost certainly given. So let's destroy that mine right there. Given how depressed I am and that it deserved to die. So yeah, if anything at all, I hope that was hilarious. I hope you guys are laughing at my absolute torture right now. And at least you can't say that Igniter dying was a result of me being bad at video game because that was about as cheap as a death can get. 
Oh, ouch, that hurt. So yeah, there is that at least going for it. We have that guy to destroy, which I'm going to do, and then grab that piece of cheese right there. Sweet. So yeah, that just happened. Now I have to deal with it. And hey, it might be frustrating for you, but if it's hilarious, well, it's hopefully frustrating for you, as frustrating for you as it is for me. Regardless, I'm frustrated. Hopefully my rambling that I did for comedic effect, I'm not really that angry, I just kind of exaggerated for a comedic effect and all that. But regardless, hopefully said rant was hilarious for you, that was the intent. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to smash that like button, I'd appreciate the support and knowing that you guys are liking the content at hand, mind you. And because that's where Lightning would have thrown all of his, you know, lightning sticks from, so, yeah. Anyway, I've fallen silent, I just have nothing to say, I'm speechless, I am just so sad. That's what I am, sad, that's a perfect descriptive word, that's what that is. I've never been so happy to use the word sad before, because it just so perfectly matches the mood of this right now. Oh wait, let's be pressing the skip button, you know, avoiding some rocks some more. Man, there's so many gems right here. That's pretty cool. I like having this many gems. <laughs> nice, I have a positive takeaway from all this. It's the fucking gems of all things. Never did I ever think that gems would be a positive takeaway from Ignite's death, but here we are. He was feeding bad old class is dead, no matter how cheap something is. But luckily for me, I do have literally like 26 of a sky does lock, 27 once we seek out the soul of double trouble. So I don't think the soul seeker series is lost. Is I'm just upset that I can't play with my favourite characters, so the fun, the potential I have with that is all gone, and now I have to stick with the lame characters of the 32 original cast. The lame ones, I tell you. Lame! Like, Terrafin right here, for example. So lame! I'm kidding, I actually like Terrafin, so Terrafin fans, please don't at me. Actually, no, that is a lie, I do despise Terrafin. I think he's slow, dull, boring, and not nearly as powerful as he needs to be. I'm just trying to, you know, make the Terrafin fans feel slightly better about himself by lying about how much I enjoy the character, I suppose, which I don't think really works out all that well. Oh, wait, let's destroy that guy. Hope that this isn't going to be janky as fuck, but then again, I suppose that it's asking too much as we land straight onto the spikes. Okay, there we are. We're just going to go straight into this section immediately. We're not even going to worry about bouncing over to the other section. We have the treasure chest. At least I hope that it auto save from the objectives. That it did! So yeah, we're just going to continue with the completion of the level. And hope not to die this time! <laughs> Man, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. Game... Shame on you. You killed off two fire scarners on the same level. And that is how you fooled me twice. Massive, massive shame on you indeed. Like, why couldn't Prison Break die? I like Prison Break. Not as much as Igniter. You know, why couldn't that element of the area just stay as Earth? Was that really all that much to ask for? I mean, was it really? So yeah, we're now down to two fire scanners, just like with magic, as there's also only two of those to go around, because we haven't yet seeked out the soul of Double Trouble and Wrecking Ball is dead, therefore Spar and Voodoo are our only magic scanners to tackle this level with. That's just for joy of it all, I suppose. For joy, or should I say, like of, of being absolutely screwed over. So now it's time for Eruptor, the character I wish I played in the portal last time, because if he dead, zero fucks would have been given. But instead, Igniter, bit of a bullet, and it was awful. And now I'm being hasty. <laughs> Look at that. So much damage. Wow. Fun. Not really. And this guy's still chasing me. As if the fire flamethrowers wasn't damage enough as is. Okay. Up we pop. Oh, jeez. I need that too. Oh my god, I actually used the lava, like... Bath and attack, which I never ever use. This is a first, I suppose. Anyway, let's bounce up here, make it successfully. Not make it successfully, apparently. So now I gotta wait for this bounce pad to circle the way back around. Oh, that flamethrower is still activated. You can barely see it though. It's like an invisible flamethrower. Oh boy, I'm launching up again. Wow. Just, just. Just what? Uh, 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 uh. What you're hearing right now? 
Oh, speechless noises. I am bringing a new definition to speechless right now. Because what just happened before, the game just gone and did it again. Yeah, I'm, I've had enough of this level. Let's just load up Pirate Seas already. No, 100% that, and then we can come back to the Dragon's Peak and conclude with it. With our one and only Fire Scarter remaining, that being Flameslinger at this point. Okay, so onto the portal we shall be placing Stump Smash. And yeah, so all we got to do is make sure we find the final treasure chest this time around. But that isn't going to stop me from trying to get through this level as fast as ASAP. Boom, destroy this fellow with my stumps that be smashing you with. Boom, baby, just like that. we got combos and all sorts, including this one right here, which I love so much. Haha, <laughs> I love that combo. Oh, I suppose that combo is also pretty cool. Anyway, boom, finish him off. And boom, finish him off too. So now they're all dead. Let's be speaking with this pirate and finishing off with these pirate cards without further ado. But man, Dragon's Peak is just slaughtering all my fire scanners apparently. And the worst, most ironic element of it all is that it's fire what is defeating them. These scanners' literal own element is being their undoing. So, yes, whilst we have four Skarners for most elements, that being water, life, tech, and earth, what we don't have four Skarners for is fire, because we're down to one of them, and it's Flameslinger. Luckily, he's not the worst for Fireman. In fact, if anything, he's second best, so I'm glad that I swapped out for Eruptor, sacrificed him, so that then we still have Flameslinger um, to access, as I realised that all of the matches were just, uh, you know in rows with one another well actually columns so you know that made things easy but unfortunately i was you know too busy skipping over things and not really having my brain in the moment as my brain has turned some mesh from the absolute bullshit that the fire characters had to endure my mind and my brain is back there not over here you know in other words i'm focusing too heavily on the past rather than keeping my attention span towards the present level that being Pirate Seas. I mean, dirt is the level I'm playing, isn't it? Boom, baby. Finish off that guy, too, while we're at it. Oh, I'd like to see. Now that the Earth is strongly here, let's go back to Terrafin, shall we? You know, we only got a slight appearance in for Dragon's Peak, so it's about time we made up for the slight appearance and made his appearance even more grander by bringing him back once again. So now the question is, where is the treasure chest that I missed for last time? I mean, that's a good question. I want to make sure, you know, I answer that question and discover the very treasure chest it was that I missed before I get through the entire, uh, entire of this level even and realise that I've missed the treasure chest again. So yes, where are some fools? Ooh, what's back there? Food. Nothing much more than just food, apparently. Oh, wait, there's a goblet back here. No treasure chest. Oh, and now those guys are slicing and dicing me down, apparently. Boom! Got That's what we got. The nice old belly flop for to deal with just about everything in my path, mind you. There goes that guy right there. We love to see it. Anyway, these guys think this is a chance. They don't. I almost feel sorry for him. Either way, he did strike me down, but, you know, striking me down wasn't nearly enough. You gotta do better than that. Okay, boom. Let's finish punching these guys. Purely because punching them is how we defeat them, and then being defeated is exactly what we need, because then we don't take damage, and then Terrafin isn't defeated, and class is dead and cannot be used again. That's just how things go. Now it's time for another thing for how things go. That being the pirate cards within the pirate seas. There is no avoiding it. Just like there is no avoiding the cheapliness of the dragon's peak. Apparently. Luckily though, once the dragon's peak is done, all levels will be triple starred. Especially thanks to my photoshop work with the empire of ice. That was 100% legitimately beat to 100%. So yes, then we can finally do heroic challenges 
and Lair of Chaos, you know, something new, rather than tackling the same levels over and over again. Other way, right there, we have Blackbeard, there's the map, I can't remember the map was, never mind, yes I can, because I found it, not by accident, totally not. Other way, there's the hat, the other one, which is up there, what are you going to be? Oh, wild card, so let's just use it on this one, which is going to be the Blackbeard, exposing our final matchup, that being the Cannon. So now we have more deep stews to skip over. Sweet. But anyways, now with that all being said, I have a hunch as to where the treasure chest is. And there's one right beside the pirate do-rag hat that Dynarang is currently beast in. So it wouldn't surprise me if I was idiotic enough to walk right past it. So let's be heading all the way back here at the Fountain Square and seeing if my hunch is about to pay off. It is indeed! How the hell I missed this last time? I have no fucking clue. But here it is, my hunch haven't paid off. Let's grab all this treasure, mostly because I feel like it, and get back to exactly where it was that I, well, was in the past. But now, the present is going to catch up with the past as I proceed to access the area that, where I was in the past, but in the present I will be this time where I am. Yeah, that made sense. Again, I need to emphasize the very fact that my brain is absolute mesh right now as it's all over the place. I have one element of my brain focusing in on what's happening now, one element that's focusing in on my commentary, and another element that's just all the way back at the Dragon's Peak, depressed over what happened twice, might I add you, twice. By the way, we now have a pirate dex to be dealing with, so we got ourselves a hat and a booty. What's here? We got a two beard and a compass. Okay, what are you? You're a two beard. Luckily, I know exactly where the other two beard is because it's right there. By the way, top of us is the curse and the hat. What's this one? Booty, which is right below it. Sweet. Okay, what's this? This is a ghost ship. Oh, and that is also a ghost ship. What a uh, awesome coincidence. Okay, compass and compass. Sweet. And our last match is going to be these two over here. The hat. Followed up by the hat. So, yep, let's be proceeding into this area where water will be stronger, I believe. I believe so correctly. So now it is Zap's turn to shine. In a while since you've seen him, prepare yourself for the annoying sound effects of this guy's lightning sea slime uh, trail. I mean, it's an annoying sound effect, but it's some good attacks, so you can't go wrong with it ultimately. So now with that being said, we have more pirate decks to be dealing with. Oh, is that right? Woof! <laughs> There's a pirate named Woof. Now that's funny right there, as Mada would put it. Mada, for greatest NPC... NPC? No, the greatest character that Pixar ever came up with. And then again, he is an NPC in Cars for Video Game. You know, throughout the uh, mainline story of that, Mater is an NPC. Unless you're playing a mini game from which you play as Mater. Oh, we have a wild card, so let's just use that on. The curse, apparently. Great. What a great utilization of the wild card. Wow. Anyway, those have all been switched on over. Luckily for me, I don't have any of these mesmerized anyway, so... You know, it's no big deal to me. As we find out the location of Nobid and the schooner. Oh, and the other Nobid whilst we're at it. Sweet. Let's get them all matched up. There's the Blackbird. peeky boo Oh, there's the other peeky boo Okay, let's find out these last few pairs then. Okay, so Blackbeard and the Swords, that will give us our six matches required. More matches are available than what for matches that you need to pass the objective, apparently. You know, you could have made seven matches, but you only needed six to get past the game, for lack of a better way of putting it. Okay, let's hit down that then, and proceed to yet another game of Pirate Cards. My favourite game to play, without a hint of sarcasm. Oh, shall I doubt. Okay, so now I have a lookout deck. Boy, I'm looking out all right. I mean, I got a lookout when I return back to Dragon's Peak for my fire scanner and hope that he does not die, given that he is the last one. Flame Slinger. Okay, Shebeard and the map. Okay, what do we have here? A sword and a Shebeard. So let's match those two up. Sweet. 
Oh, wait, what's the next? We got two bird and a schooner. What else do we have? Oh, the other schooner, apparently. So let's match them two up. That's two of eight. Okay, let's see. We've got a compass and a peeky boo. Okay, what else do we have here? A map and a two bird. I remember where the other two bird was. It was right there. Okay, there we are. That's both our two beards then. And then what are you going to be? You're going to be a booty, which I believe we haven't seen yet. We have seen the other compass, though. I think it was this one. It was indeed, so that's going to be our fourth match already. We're halfway there, because this game is not hard. Ooh, and we already know where the booty is as well. Sweet. Three more matches left. We have ourselves Sword and the Peaky Boo. I believe the other Peaky Boo was this one. Nope, that's for map. What are you? You're all for Curse. What are you then? Oh, you're also for Curse, so I know what one's not to match up. So what are you? You're for Sword. Which one was the other Sword? It was this one. Sweet. Two more matchups to go. That means this one has to be the map, right? It does indeed. So then the other map was not that one. Um, okay, sure. We'll match up Peaky Boo then. I mean, that's going to count towards our eight matches. So in the end, it became worth it. And it revealed exactly where the final two maps were that I forgot about until this exact moment in time. So there we are. We completed the game. That's sweet. Now we got to get Doggerts out of here. Yeah, another hilarious name. We went from Ruth to Doggerts. <laughs> Anyway, more lightning trails, baby. Man, this guy's so broken. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, wait. This guy is lunging at absolutely nothing right now. Okay, you do you, my friend. You do you. As I continue to absolutely annihilate all of your friends in this level right now. I mean, of course, I'm doing just that. This is that we're talking about here. Annihilation is his middle name, or at least it might as well be, because he's so damn good at it. Okay, here we are. We're going to complete this uh, pirate card game and then conclude the episode where we stand. So, yes, let's get those pirate cards out of the way first and foremost and then save in Jess Legrand, which, spoiler alert, as we know so already, she gets kidnapped and then we have a slower fort defense section to deal with. But all of that shall be saved for the next episode. For now, we're going to be flipping over some cards is what we're going to be doing. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see what we got then. We got a schooner. Oh, and a peeky boo. Not quite as useful as a schooner because then that would have been a match. Anyway, cannon and a sword, a hat and a hat. That sure is convenient. Okay, what do we have here? Two bird. Okay, Peaky Boo, we can match up both of Peaky Boos already, which is going to be very useful because it means we can discover loads upon loads of matchups. So, yes, let's just be paying attention, I suppose. Oh, there's the other cannon. Oh, and there's the other swords, too. Oh, no bit is easing, so it's a schooner. Okay, so these two are the two nodes. Then we need the schooner next up, which is there and there. Sweet. And which one were the two swords? No, nope, not swords, even cannons. These were the two cannons. Sweet. And then this one down here was a wild card. So we're just going to use that on this one because, you know, say I could not remember the sword match up. Okay, booty. Can't remember which one that was matched up with. So we're just going to have to go through and re-mesmerize these cards that just for map right there. And then what were you? You have a curse. Okay, there's the other booty. So let's match up the booty then. And then we just have one final matchup. Okay, sweet. So let's finish this off with a two bid. And now the video is coming to an end on that note. Now with that all being said and done, this video is coming to an end, but before that happens I first want to thank all my Blazing Knights and Scott and Dragons whose support allow me to continue pumping out quality videos like this one. Without them, this all wouldn't be possible, therefore I genuinely appreciate every last one of you from the bottom of my heart. If you enjoyed this video, I have others you can watch by clicking on screen now, and you can even subscribe by pressing the button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Ben until the moment arises, peace.